Hello, my name's James Earth, and you're watching Tech Bevel. Today, we're going to look at the JBL Go 4, a brand new product. Discover cool stuff. Tech Bevel. I've chosen this sort of teal colour. There's a range of different colours. Check out the Tech Baffle links in the description. But yeah, I just thought this colour was super cool, very unusual. And like any previous JBL Go, really small, really portable, but promises really big sound. So it features Bluetooth version 5.3 and seven hours of battery life. On the side here, it says you can actually do stereo pairing or multi-pair connection. I've only got one speaker at the moment, but if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll buy another one to do a sound test with that. Speaking of sound tests, I've got my binaural microphone plugged in and ready to go, ready for the sound test. <laughs> I think when they designed this packaging, they didn't consider how small the box was. Hey, we'll just zoom in together. So it has seven hours of playtime, IP67 waterproof and dustproof. Uh, you can hook it up to the JBL Portable apps. So if you've got any other JBL speakers, you can hook all those together. In terms of specs, we've got 90 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response. We have a 1.75 inch driver with 4.2 watts RMS. You have your cable and you have your user guide. So you've got all your all your barcodes there, Harman branding. Let's not go too crazy with zooming. Blimenek. JBL, dare to listen. And I like the new design massive JBL logo but we'll get into the design in a moment. So let's take a look inside the box. Oh look at this. Oh that is awesome. Yeah I think that's intentional. The box is colour coded to the uh, the colour of the speaker. Anyway look at this. Wow that's incredible. JBL speakers, honestly, they are just built to last. They feel so sturdy. Look at this. Really nice mesh on here. Got this sort of grippy surface around here, all rubberized finish. Very nice indeed. And then you've got this little handle which you could have around your finger like so. I mean, yeah. So you could really just take it anywhere or you could probably put it on like a key ring or something. I mean, it is quite big, but you know, you clip it to your bag, all sorts. Also in the box we have uh, exploding paperwork. <laughs> we have the safety instruction and warranty card. What's this bit here? Something in Chinese, which I don't know what that is. But if you can read Chinese, then let me know. Then finally, we have the quick start guide. Hooray. What's in the box? So we have JBL. We have the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I've, I almost completely forgot about the cable. It's in this little gubbins here. There we go. So we have our JBL cable as well. Look at that. We've got the orange highlights. So cool. Quick start guide. What's in the box? We've got the speaker and a cable. Nice and simple. Bluetooth pairing. We'll work that out in a moment. How to play your speaker. You've got play. You've got the volume up and down buttons. Multi-speaker connection so you can hook up with you and all your friends. I haven't bought any more of these at the moment, but if you want me to do a multi-speaker test, let me know in the comments. And then that's the app, the QR code right there. We have charging. So we have a little indicator on the side. Waterproof, dustproof, IP67. It's what you need for a portable speaker. And then we've got all the specs for the speaker right here. And I must say 4.2 watts isn't that much. I mean, I guess the industry norm for like a little speaker is like 3 watts. So I guess it's a little bit more powerful. JBL know how to do their stuff. It's... Oi! Stay there. So if you want to look at all the specs, pause the video right there. And it's good that it's got Bluetooth 5.3. And there you go. Very nice user guide. So look at the speaker itself. Now, I went for the teal version, like I mentioned, but I do, this is such a nice color. I don't know if it's coming across like it on the camera. It is amazing. I like it. It's nice and understated. But then you've got the, the orange highlights work really well. And they're not too in your face either. I mean, you've got this massive JBL logo because it's color coded to the speaker it, it's not like looking tacky or anything it looks really smart your handle here feels nice and strong on the handle as well and then you've got this other section along here and a bit of a grippy surface as well so it sticks to your desk nice and easy it's not going to move around plus they've even got some grippier surfaces on the back as well so if you wanted it facing upwards you can listen to your music and share it with your friends. On side, I forgot to mention, the charging cable is USB-C. Hooray! I mean, we should expect that these days, but you never know. You never know. So on the side here, we've got some soft touch buttons. I think they're usually a bit clicky. Power on and off, Bluetooth connection, and the multi-speaker mode. 
On the top, we have volume down, play, pause, and up. Nice massive button. So say if like if you've got this near the pool and you just want to press buttons, you don't want little fiddly buttons. These are nice and easy to press. If you're interested in the JBL Go 4 Bluetooth speaker, then head over to the Tech Baffle links in the description. Don't go for one of those cheapy, dodgy looking ones. If it's too cheap, it's going to be fake and you don't want to waste your time with fake speakers. They're going to sound awful. Head over to the Tech Baffle links in the description and get yourself the real deal. So without further ado, has it got any charge? And is it going to make a funny noise? Hey! Okay, calm down. Okay, I'll come. Okay, 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 okay. So that's the charging slash low battery slash pairing indicator. And before you ask, it doesn't have any other fancy lighting effects. They haven't bothered of that. It's a little speaker. It's designed to be outside, so you're not going to notice those party effects anyway. Let's go to Bluetooth. It's your standard JBL Go 4. Yes, please. Hey. So I'll give you the proper sound test in a moment. Let's go ahead and go over to Epidemic Sounds. If you want to check out the playlist I use for this video to test out your speaker for yourself or any other speaker, then go ahead and click the link in the description for my sound test playlist. I'm going to switch over to the binaural microphones. There we go. Big sound from a small speaker. Massive sound. I mean, it's, so let me just play it from this side as well. So you can also have them lying down like this as well. Super clear. I mean, it's really good playing like this as well because it doesn't sound muffled either. It's like, obviously it's a bit clear when you play it towards you. I'll give you the proper sound test in just a moment. I'm just giving you my first impressions. It's really impressive how such a big sound comes from such a small speaker. I mean, it is vibrating a little bit, but that's the bass radiator, I guess, doing its work. I'll play it back to the vinyl ears. But yeah, a massive sound. Really is good. I mean, for such a small compact thing, it's very slim as well. Really good. I mean, for a speaker this size, you'd expect it to sound tinny, a little bit sort of harsh sounding, but it's mixed really well. It doesn't sound too harsh or too bass heavy. It's a really nice equal sound. It's quite impressive. I don't really understand how they've managed to cram in such a big sound in such a small speaker. It's amazing, really. I mean, look, it sort of probably looks bigger than the camera, but look, it's not... I can fit this in like the palm of my hand. That's how small this speaker is. It's amazing. I mean, you could take this with you. You can take this, clip it to your bag, or whatever you want to do. I mean, this lasts seven hours on the rechargeable battery, which is amazing. I have a little bit of a soft spot. I think the first ever JBL goes, they still look like little stage speakers. They look like little PA speakers. And I thought that was quite cool. This one looks a lot more fashionable. I mean, this would go with your outfit a lot more. It doesn't look more like a little electronic. And to be fair... The original Ghost did look a little bit like toys. It didn't look like something you could take seriously. This is more of a rugged, bit more of a nice, nice, trendy design. And let's not forget, they've improved the sound of these much more. I mean, the originals, they were good at the time, don't be getting me wrong. But of each generation, these have got steadily better and really good sound from such a small little unit. It sounds crystal clear. No matter what, like... I've, I've, it's maximum volume. <laughs> it remains crystal clear at maximum volume even. It's pretty impressive how they've managed to do that. But yeah, the JBL Portable app. So you've got a bit more customization. Plus, if you want to hook it up to your other JBL speakers. Apologies. <laughs> apologies. On the previous video, I had to change my camera settings to PAL. So I've got it on 50 hertz. And now my phone is looking a little bit flickery. But apologies. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Here we go, we've got the JBL app. Accept. See if it can find our geezer. Okay, so. Oh, we also have a software available. That's quite impressive because I've only just bought this. It's already got a software update. So whilst this is updating, hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss out on a future video. But yeah, make sure you get the JBL app. Even if you don't plan to use it, you can do the firmware updates and everything all straight away and it means you've got oi shush <laughs> and it means 
Oi, I told you before, shush. <laughs> and it means that you can get the best software for your speaker. Let's party. So there's a few features on this app. So we've got 75% battery because I'm a doofus and didn't charge it beforehand. Always do so, don't be like me. So we've got the battery life right here. And then we got the different equalization settings. So that's cool. So we've got JBL signature, chill, energetic, vocal, and custom. I'll go for that in a minute. Playtime boost. So if you want a bit more battery life, it might reduce volume or something. But you'll last longer than that way. And you do stereo group. So you can obviously... I haven't got any more JBL. Go fours. Okay, so let's go on to Epidemic Sounds. And then we'll go through the different equalization settings. have it facing the ears okay so jbl signature chill brings the highs down so it's not so crispy that's actually quite a nice setting to be fair because i think it is a little bit sharp sounding so chill is quite nice energetic a bit more lively so i have to take my headphones off really hear it properly more treble i think not much more bass not too different to jbl signature to be fair vocal a bit more prominent in the vocals a bit more lower mid uh yeah upper mid range and then if you want to have fun you can do the custom setting so if you wanted to make sure bass you could go crazy like that if you're insane like me or you can do what you like a bit more bass you can a bit more mids you can lower the treble whatever you fancy there you go look at that it's nice having this customized setting as well so you can really customize the sound how you want it energetic is a little bit too much for my liking but hey it's whatever you want and plus outdoors maybe energetic might sound a bit better be it JBL Signature, for the most part, is pretty good. I mean, this is quite a energetic song, so good test for it. But it's good, you can have it sitting on the table. Because it's got the grippy surface, it's not going to move around or be annoying or make a buzzing sound. So yeah, you've got the controls on the speaker itself. If you don't want to use your phone, you can get away from your phone. You've got play, pause. You've got volume down. I'm guessing links with your phone. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's all synced with your phone. It's really nice, really easy to use. And then when you're done, you can make your favourite sound. All right, phone, calm down. We've had the fun. Let's go ahead and do the sound test. Now I've got my binaural ears plugged in right now. <laughs> So, so high. 
really cool speaker, really nice, really rugged. Good price, to be fair. I mean, you can get these for thirty nine ninety nine. That's UK. A lot of speaker for your money. You're getting really good quality. Splash proof, dust proof. Really good for out and about. So if you're interested in the JBL Go 4, then check the tech baffle links down below where you can buy this on Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding. So you don't miss a thing. I'm on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, and Snapchat. Follow me at TechBaffle. I'm also on Reddit, r slash TechBaffle. For latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day. Mm -hmm.